now drive toward the sunset, Will. Go west, young man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is where we are. It's right here, and this is South Pond, and Middle Pond, and North Pond. The three lakes. The sundown. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's beautiful. What a way to end the day. Oh, this is great. Sunset. And what's the name of the lake? Webster Lake. Lake Chagagagog, Manchagagog, Cowabunga Bunga Bog. Well, we I get, don't know. So on our first date. So we get in the back. We're in the back, in the back seat of the police car. And there's two cops in the front. Yeah. Mr. Kanoya, you have to work on your uh, life man overboard skills. And it's like, oh, God, you never stop. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends, he's a stalker. <laughs> uh, what did you say, Will? I said, this is as close as we've ever gotten to uh, big time celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what we tell people? What do you tell people usually? Oh, I say I put my pants on one leg at a time. Oh, I like what you just said though, Bob. But I said, I drink my beers one can at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. In today's video, we are taking you along with us to explore Webster Lake in Webster, Massachusetts. We are here at this location because we met Will and Denise at the Pleasure Way RV Rally in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Will and Denise own a Pleasure Way on Tour 2.2. Will said we are invited to visit his house on the lake anytime. After we finished posting the Hershey Rally video, we were going through a very sad time because a very close and dear friend of ours had passed away from cancer. We messaged Will on Saturday, September 30th and asked if his offer for us to come by the lake still stands because we could use a place to get away to heal. Will said, come on over, but if we want to ride the pontoon boat, we need to come over by October 3rd, because on October 4th, the boat has an appointment to be taken out of the water for the winter. Today is October 3rd, and we are on our way, driving from Connecticut to Webster, Massachusetts. So welcome to my home. Yes, thank it's you. good to see you guys. Good to see you. Uh, this is Indian summer, the end of... Uh... End of the year, but it's a great way to go up today. So okay. I was thinking we could go for a nice boat ride. Okay. Denise would like to, uh, she'll be home about 5.30. Okay. She would like to go out with us. There's okay. There's a place in the middle where we watch the sunset. Yeah. Over the water. <gasps> and she'd like to do that because we're taking our boat out tomorrow. Okay. So it'll be the last day of the year. Wow, I'm happy because you said she has to work until 7 or something. She had a, she had a hair, haircut appointment. Uh-huh. And she was on the wrong day. Oh, it's actually tomorrow. Oh, oh, lucky us then. Yeah. Wow, the water is so clear. It's up. You want to get the dog? Good job. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Up. Up. Yeah, good, good dog. <laughs> okay, my turn. So okay, you're going to get out of the way. You gonna let me in, honey? <laughs> Hello? Kajak, move. Come. You gonna let me in? Come. Good girl. Okay. okay. And there you go. Thanks. This is our first dog, Kojak. We got her in 2010. Mm -hmm. She's uh she's 13. And poor thing is named Kojak because we'll Will always wanted a dog, and he always wanted to name a dog Kojak, but she's a girl, and we didn't want, me and my daughters didn't want her named Kojak, but he won, because he had always wanted a dog named Kojak. And why did I want him date a dog named Kojak? Because we're Stephen King fans, and he was, um, Kojak was in the book called The Stand, and he saved, he helped save, Gary Sinise played him in the movie. Yeah. Kojak saved him, kept him alive, and he always wanted it. That's why he loved the dog names. Yeah, Gary Sinise, the character he played, he broke his leg in the desert, and Kojak the dog went out and just got him, caught him rabbits, and brought firewood, and brought all kinds of things for him to eat. And I said, if I ever get a dog, he or she is gonna be named Kojak. So there four little go. girls named Kojak. There you go. We call her Koj. 
most of the time. I tried to make it Koji stick, but no, it never stuck. <laughs> so Koji. <laughs> So good to go through your checklist, huh? That's a mental checklist. Just like RV. Do you know this is our first time riding yeah, this kind of boat? What, what, is, what kind of boat is this called? So this is a pontoon boat. It's yeah. a 22 foot Bennington pontoon boat. Uh -huh. um, it's like driving in your living room. It's awesome. Wow. It's got a pretty cool sound system. Always listen to music. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, our first time. Oh, that's cool. So, so my wife and kids always say to me, yeah, I could go any slower. But to me, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. So but what's house, the rush, right? This house right here, they just built this summer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Look at that dude. one. This is where we are. Mm -hmm. Right here. And this is South Pond and Middle Pond and North Pond. There are three lakes. And the name of this lake, again, I can't begin to pronounce it. It's probably about 60 letters long. It's supposedly the longest named lake in the United States. It's, uh, I forget what tribe of uh, Native Americans lived here. The engine is very quiet. It is, it is. That's what wow. I like about going slow because you get to talk. It's like riding in your living room. Mm -hmm. You know? It it's very nice. Actually, when I drive, when I go normally, I go like this, a little over idle. And, mm -hmm. uh, just over idle. Just over idle. So on the back of my map that I made, this is kind of funny. This tells you based on the RPMs of the engine, how much fuel you're using gallons per hour. So right now we're about 800 RPMs. So we use about a half gallon an hour. So if you're not in a hurry and you just want to cruise and have yeah. joy people, yeah. my kids laugh at me when they see this. But This is the life. I pinch myself. You I pinch really yourself. I, I think we would pinch ourselves too, we would. Yeah, to, you know. Very we, fortunate. Yeah. Very fortunate. Life is good. Yeah. When we arrived at this spot, we thought things looked familiar. That's when we realized we have been here before. We came here to kayak on October 29th, 2015. It was eight years prior to today. We remember the weather started out calm, but then the wind picked up and the lake got choppy. Oh my goodness, small world. You drove all the way up here to go kayaking here? Yeah, we would try out different places to kayak. We're going to go by that in a minute. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is, that's incredible, good job. You know what's even more amazing that she remembers it? You can actually find those. Yeah. Yeah, huh? You want to hear a funny story? So I used to have a sailboat back probably in 1998 and it was called the Hobie Cat. It's one of those ones with the two pontoons and the big, big sail and it had a sail in front called the jib. And that thing would go really, really fast. And when you're going, the whole one of the pontoons would come out of the water and you'd have to lean back on it trying to keep your weight so it wouldn't tip over. Okay. Yes. So I had a friend who uh, invited his son to come with us from another town. They, they wanted to sail. And so as it was in October, late October, a nice warm day, not quite as warm as today, but an October day. So we're sailing around out here. And his son was a big, he was a teenager, big hockey guy. And so we're sailing all over the place. And he kept saying, Mr. Kenoya, Mr. Kenoya, pull in your jib. Mr. Kenoya, pull this. Did Mr. Kenoya do this? And it's like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And uh, we're just having a good time. And so we're sailing across this big open space here. And we're flying. And we're all three of us are kind of up on, up on here, leaning back so we don't tip over. And then all of a sudden, the sun, it was the weirdest thing. He's talking, talking. And all of a sudden, you couldn't hear him anymore. And we took off going faster. The sun fell off the back. And he fell into the water. Because we all had a life, life jacket on, which is fine. And uh, so it's hilarious. And his, his father and I, I looked at his father. I said, do we have to go back and pick him up? Because, yeah, his mother would miss him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we come around. and It was a wicked, wicked day. We were probably 15, 20 mile an hour winds. So, so we come around and I go to pick him up. And what you got to kind of do is kind of go into the wind. That kind of slows you down. Yeah, yeah. But it was, it was hard. It was so windy. So as we go around, we 
put, put my arm out to get him and we kind of pull him up. And he was a big kid, over 230, 240 pounds. We pull him up and he said, Mr. Kanoya, you have to work on your uh, life man overboard skills. And it's like, oh God, you never stop. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun. Look at that, the wind. Oh, you're like my photo when I'm in, and this is the uh, Titanic. Yeah. This is a concert venue, campground behind it, and uh, they have some pretty big regional kind of bands, or some of the big bands that are, you know. Uh, I know, we were so glad that uh, you invited us. Oh, I'm so we... glad you accepted. Yeah. Life is too short. You, I mean, God forbid you might make it to 95 and all of this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you might not. So enjoy, right. enjoy the steps of the, along the way. Life is yeah. too short. Exactly. You can, you can always readjust your, your course later on if you have to. Right, yeah. Now the gray one is my younger brother, Paul, and the one on the right is my older brother. How about that? The boat launch, right? That was fun. We loved it. Come on, buddy. Sweet <laughs> home. Yeah. There, right? So we have that so bourbon collection. Irish whiskey, which is it's Jameson. Uh, yeah. This one's a scotch. This one's bourbon. Oh. And then the, the whistle pig back there is actually a rye. If you take a peek in there, whistle pig. Wow. <laughs> Skipping ahead to dinner. We will show the sunset boat ride after. Yeah, you look at that. Decorated your carpet, but you're good. Kojak would have been Yummy. looking at the weeds. Or, or your rug, I guess. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Isn't that nice? This is yeah. going to be nice. Well, here I'm going to be careful not to put it mm -hmm. too close, but Kojak can get at it. Oh, this that's the, right. The delicate balance. Kojak will say. Flashlight for everything. There you go. Always, when I go out on the boat, I always take one with me. What a good idea. These are the extra vegetables, mushrooms and peppers. And, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Can you hear sizzling? Perfect. Yeah. So I made you guys a nice wow. steak kebabs dinner. I'll just wow, grab one. look at that. I'll show that. you the good one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> pick, pick one for your wife. Devon? Yeah. We got extra vegetables. Oh, yummy. Well. All right, good. Wow. It goes to our, to our good friends who we've just met, uh, David and Sean. We're so glad you could be here with us tonight celebrating and right in the backyard. You what? didn't realize how close you were? Yeah. And you've already been here to Webster Lake before, so it's like coming home. Welcome there back. you go, and thank you for having us. Uh, oh, we love it here, yeah. Just a typical yeah. Tuesday night. Yum, yum. <laughs> wait, wait. What? Oh, wait. See, my corn. <laughs> this corn looks like it came from a uh, landfill. <laughs> Do you want mine? No, I, I don't. I have plenty of other stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Sunset boat ride. Hey, I got a funny story for you. So we're going around the lake, right? And the guard says, This looks so familiar. Oh, David, she told me. And he pulls it up on his phone. They were here in 2015. <laughs> 2015, huh? 2015, wow. Well, we were here. We could have met you then. Yeah. Oh, you were? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. It was a windy day. I wanted to say, am I going to see you out there in November, too? <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? We'll see ya. <laughs> That's a go. You just wave at everybody, yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're going to track down a sunset. All right. And hopefully, I think tonight we'll get a moon rise. It comes up in the east over here around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Nice. Well, that's what it was last night. I didn't check the time tonight. But... Sunset 6 
What did you say, Will? I said, this is as close as we've ever gotten to uh, big time celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what we tell people? What do you tell people usually? Oh, I say I put my pants on one leg at a time. Oh, I like what you just said, though, Bob. But I said, I drink my beers one can at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I usually say, I don't know, maybe this. <laughs> My poos still sting. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah. yes, yes, there you go. Yeah. And onto a 2.0. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let me think about it. I'm You're living the life. Oh, it's very nice. It's I good on all stages. Yeah. I like the lake because every day you look out, it's different. Right. This morning it was all foggy. Yeah. Tomorrow you don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, in a couple of days it's going to be frigid and foggy and rainy and uh, leaves will be falling. And... Hello. We went out that way. Great shot. Color. Yeah. Look at that sky behind us. There you wow. go. Got anything to say, Will? Oh, I'm just so grateful you guys came down to visit with us. This is uh, this has been a great day, and, and... brought great weather. Yes, yes. Uh, so with us. we're gonna watch the sun go down. <laughs> oh, it's going down. We better get down yeah, here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> there you go. You must be popular at weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Okay, tell us how you met. Will and I met at a bar called Castle's Keep. It's no longer there in July of, what year was it? 1983. Yeah. I had graduated college the year before and I was out with my friends. It was a bar. It was had great dancing. Um, there actually was a band playing um, down east. They right. were playing. They were awesome. And I was standing there and some person stepped on my foot. And he says this differently. But then he asked me to dance, and we danced, and we danced all night, and then he, um, he said he'd call me, and I didn't think he would, and he did. <laughs> the next day, we went on our first date. So now you can hear Will's side of the story. Uh, pretty much like that, except I don't know if I stepped on her foot or if she hooked me with her foot trying to get my attention, <laughs> but that's debatable. <laughs> the important thing is we met, and that was July 2nd of 1983, and we made our first date to be July 4th, and we went to the fireworks at the Boston Esplanade. Uh... Down. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's it? beautiful. What a way to end the day. This is great. Sunset. And what's the name of the lake? Webster Lake. Lake Chagagagag, Manchagagag, Kaubunga Bungabog. Well, we I don't know. And now drive toward the sunset, Will. <laughs> go west, young man. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how many I've been up for, but I just don't get it. it doesn't get old for me. Denise, look at my way, Denise. Look at my way. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. I need to look both ways. I'm driving this boat. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll let you. <laughs>
That's what they call it cutting that can go wrong. It will cover a handful, you know, because they've gone wrong recently. Well, you want when this happens, check this. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to remember something that went wrong eight years ago that could go wrong again tomorrow. Right. And they will. <laughs> She's classy. They will figure it out. <laughs> I know immediately. There she goes. Do the same thing. Just move his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just move your head. Uh. Yeah, just move. Move his head to where you want it. Get something. <laughs> so, when, when we were our little small. Oh, this is a good story. Tell me a story. For our first day. It was so late. So I knew she was a keeper. And back then. I think I had a cooler full of soft drinks in the bag of the pickup, back of the bed. So I said to her, I said, hey, can you get me a beer? Can you get me a, a soft drink out of the bag? And she crawled through the little window in the back wind, back glass. She, she gave me a beer and it's like, oh, this is really nice. So, so we went to the city. We get to the city. I didn't have a clue where the Esplanade was or anything else. We ended up going to downtown Boston. We parked. And the police cruiser is going pretty by. Far. We're pretty far. Yeah, we're we pretty were far. late. I mean, I think he had to work with his lifeguard. Yeah. So we were really late. It was getting to probably be like 6 o'clock. So a police car went by. I flagged him down. I said, hey, we're going to the fireworks at the Esplanade. Where, is that close? And he said, a couple of miles that way. And he said, hop in. I'll give you guys a ride. Oh, really? So on our first date. Yeah. So we get in the we're back. in the seat of the police car. And there's two cops in the front. Yeah. And I had one of those old wine bladders. You know what that is? It's, it, was, it had full of wine. Yeah. So today, we're going to be outdoors at the Esplanade all day. So we're in the back of the, in back of the police car, and I gave her a sip of wine with the, with the wine bladder. Yeah. And she said, boy, this is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and this is behind the police? In the police car. No, we weren't drinking in the police car. Yeah, we had a sip in the police no, car. No, we did not. He's making that up. There's no way we right. had drinks in the police car. Okay. Now, this is why we say, who, which, whose version of the story, right? <laughs> so we're in the middle. She's worried about her relative seeing this, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Myself, I don't care if my relatives would get a kick out of it. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, we have to preserve the story. You gotta tell well, the way they, it, it was, yeah. They all evolve over time anyway. Yeah. He dropped us off, right? Yes, and this is pretty cool. So he dropped us off right in the front of the Esplanade. The place is mobbed with people. He says, good luck finding a spot. We found a spot, it was like maybe three square feet. And as the afternoon developed, it became bigger and bigger and bigger. And late in the afternoon, we're almost lying down on it. We got there late, so. It was such a memorable first date. We said we're going to go every year if we went only one other year. Yeah. <laughs> 37 years later, we, yeah. who would want to go to Boston for fireworks? <laughs> yeah, really. It's watch it on, on uh, PBS and uh, it's a blast. But he must have asked her out. He must have I well, must have. <laughs> well, so here's my version of the story. Yeah, oh, boy. I can I turn slow down so we get better, better volume. Can you hear? Yeah. He was a friend of my friend, right? And then, uh, and then I don't know. We go to the dining hall together, and then every. Well, I mean, as a group, as a group, it's not. It was never a date. So then, uh, everyone left, and he was still there. <laughs> every day, every time, I'm like, and he's sitting over there, you know, googly eye. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I love the different versions. <laughs> and then, and then. You know, I'm at the cafeteria, he was there. At the library, he was there. Um, Where well, I was there. So finally, world. yeah, finally I said, you seem to be wherever I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> my, one of my friends, he's a stalker. <laughs> and then he said, and after I said, well, you seem to be wherever I'm at. And then um, he said, because I like you. I said, but I have a boyfriend oh. from high school. You know no, what he I'm said? Boyfriend. What did you say, David? I, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> you got to move closer to me. <laughs> well, you don't need me in this picture. <laughs> so, so he said, he said, that's okay. I'm not asking you to break up with your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I don't recall saying that, but it sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, I said, let me go, let me eat with you at the cafeteria. Let me go to the library with you. Let me go wherever you go. <laughs> so, so then that was it. you know? Yeah. So then one day, he came with me to, to my dorm to get my bag to go to the library. Knock, knock on the door. <gasps> Boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That did happen. Yeah. Oh, oh my, goodness. my goodness. He had no color. <laughs> wait, 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 me or the boyfriend? The boyfriend, yeah. I'm just checking here. Well, yeah, the cat, the and, and, and this one here. Well, other than being in the room. Perhaps. Yeah, and then this one cut up. He said, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ran across the, the campus. Yeah. I'll go get help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, distance, you know? Yeah. So I think that day I had to make a decision. This one, or, or the, the, you know, I had to break his heart. Oh, you are oh, heart. Heart. Oh. He cried. It's life. Yeah. So that's it. Ever since, right? So look at the bright side. Now you're with David. You're sitting on beautiful Webster Lake. Yeah, you're there on, you go. Uh, what a life, right? Well, that's a good story. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so one night after the movie, we were walking. The ground was kind of wet. So he gave me a piggyback, but that was it. <laughs> the only time ever. Do you remember that? I, I don't. <laughs> I remember but, because uh, I never got any more piggyback. What's that mean? What's that saying? What are you saying? I, that's, you know, I, I, can't I tried it even once. You know? <laughs> yeah. You could carry her up the uh, handicap ramp up here for dinner. <laughs> there you go, yeah. A well, piggyback, uh, yeah. <laughs> can you, you imagine? Don't want to be broken back. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. You, you video us, you give me a piggyback, and then in the water we. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah. can try that here too if you want to. <laughs> yeah. still can't get oh, good morning. So we're going out on the boat. I hope you brought your bathing suit. I have a towel for you to go to dry off when you go swimming. <laughs> what? What's the temperature? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but it'll, it'll wake you up. Let's say that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, David, I'm glad you can make it too. Yeah, I told. I'm going to uh, Where's your best friend this morning? Well, to be honest with you, I figured it was just you and me. Yeah. She always has to drive in the passenger in the drive in the passenger seat. Yeah. And I didn't want to have you have to sit on your lap. Oh. But you still can bring her now. Yeah, now because she can stay in the back and yeah. you can keep her in the back, but you keep her in yeah. the back. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Let me go get her because she, she she did not was not happy. And yeah. <laughs> She's like, what's the matter with me? Chop liver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, isn't it? Love it, love it. Hello, good morning. Oh my goodness, how are you? How are you? Unplanned for them. Oh, look at this. Look at the colors. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hi, Devon. <laughs> this is living. <laughs> That's your yeah. saying. You got to say it. Oh, this, this is living. This is the life. <laughs> there you go. This is the life. Heading you know, back. You know, on, on this boat, I told you my dad passed away a couple of years ago. He and I used to drive around on the lake before he did. He was speaking Frank Sinatra music. And, uh, he's an old sailor. He would just, he would just revel in it. Wait, what, 6 to 6? Six, yeah, I, I can't tell you. <laughs> 6 a.m. would be 3 p.m. Saturday night. Or, Dave was working early today, yeah. Because, I mean, other times I'd start at 7 or tower leagues. Call them the missions tower. <laughs> <laughs> I thought to my friend, sorry, Dave. Is that you, Paul? Yeah. Good morning. How am I looking? 
My dog is directing me. I follow her ears if she tells me to go right or left. It's too nice of a day to be doing this. I know, I almost canceled for next week and waited for the really crappy weather to be driving. Is it coming up? Yeah, it is. Oh, oh yeah, it's coming up right there. Cool. Hey, look at that. How am I looking? Well, this is the first for us. <laughs> First time uh, being on a pontoon, first time being a, uh, what is this called? The water. Yeah. First time towed from the water. Yeah. You've been towed before, right? Well, no. Towed, yeah. How about that? This is pretty cool, actually. Now yeah. This is the kind of thing people don't get to see, and it's really No, kind of yeah. Okay. That's so right cool. Here. You want us to get ready to get off or? Yeah, you can get off. There you go. Excellent. All right, Tavon, you want to try the this? They're staying, oh, so lovely. they're staying in my driveway with their rig. Oh, okay. They're having a blast. That's cool. They got you. Yeah, they got YouTube. They got videos for all over the country, wow. visiting all kinds of places. And yeah. oh, watch out behind you. Look at you, you got coat jack, huh? <laughs> Look at this beast over here, David. The ride back to the house. What a wonderful visit we had. Will and Denise said come back again anytime. Tavon asked if we can come back on October 20th because she does not want me to be feeling sad at home alone. After 34 years of working, 32 for a private company and two years for a bigger company that bought us out. My job was moved to a company in India. All I can do is mourn for what used to be. Thank you, Will and Denise, for a place for me to heal. You're not ready, but they're making you, huh? It was decided for me. <laughs> yeah, I went through that. Yep. Yes. But we'll see. I might try to pick up some work on the side, but we're going to take a little break first. Yeah. We brought ribs from Smoking with Chris for dinner. What's your best? Do you like water, right? Yeah. Are you near a town called Darwin? Hmm. We're getting ready for the ribs. Yeah, we're getting ready for the ribs. Wait, wait. You get that too? <laughs> All right. All right. We're ready. Mm, thank you. Mm. David and I don't spill. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you, Devon and David, for bringing the, bringing the meal. And thank you. Smoking with Chris. Well, thank you. Don't make fun of Will's little fire. Oh, it's adorable. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> adorable cute. and cute, isn't it? Yeah, cheap. there you it's go. So yeah. It's the most adorable fireplace I <laughs> outdoor fire I've ever seen. <laughs> and you can have one too. <laughs> Confession time. That was a big night last night. Ooh, they were both empty when we started. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We were, it's it's like when you're in your RV driving and you're on fumes for gasoline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was these like are on fumes. Yeah. I see. Or they might have had a couple fingers on them. That's it. Yeah. What do we have? Yeah. Two or three mm -hmm. small ones. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. So you did not really have the whole no, no. two bottles. No, no, truly, it was pretty much down to the bottom. It was. We had one. There was enough for one of each. Yeah. You helped me get over the hump, though, because I have a collection. And, you know, I just left a teeny bit in there because I didn't want to throw it away yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, lose its space. At the, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Sorry for our roses. Yeah. <laughs> now you need a new one. The other one was the Buffalo Trace, which is over there. I uh, see. Yeah. yeah. And there's still plenty of that. Well, you're yeah. in a confessing mood. I wasn't even going to mention oh, that no, one. No. Lay it all out. <laughs> Yeah. They all come down to the water. 
Yes, huh? Morning, Coat Jack. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? How yeah. many has it been since then? Well, it's 41 now we met. And we've been 41, married. yeah. Right. We've been married 37. We'll be 37 in April. And in all seriousness, she's been a great partner. We've had a lot of fun and we're on our latest adventures with the uh, the RV. So it's, it's been cool. interesting. It's been pretty it's been cool. It's been a lot of fun. Pretty cool. Yeah. Ever since then, we've been pretty, we have a pretty good life. Two daughters and one son-in-law or one to come next year. Got another wedding next year and we love, we love, he loves retirement and I'm still working and I like that too. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll cut that out. We don't want anybody to see that. <laughs> I might send it to people at work. <laughs> they think I'm going to be there forever. <laughs> You're still being taped. I know. She, has, she has a bad memory. Be careful. <laughs> I know. I should apologize now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for God. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll with the chocolate on his face. Yeah, we'll stop it. Kiss? No, I don't want to kiss. Yeah, yeah you got to kiss. You got to end it. There you go. <laughs> Bye, Will. Thank you for having us. Oh, are you kidding me? This was a. I had so much fun today and yesterday. Thank you for coming. This was. I, you hit it out of the park. This was awesome. Yeah. All right. We really appreciate that. Savon, can so I make a comment? Sure. Go ahead. You are not as short as you appear in this video. You are standing in a ditch. <laughs> 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 you, you stand right there. You go back there behind me. Let me see. See? Now, yeah. Let, let's see if I can be taller than you. Keep going. You, well, Keep going, Wim. Oh, don't now fall. I'm in the ditch. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> see, look at me. I got taller. Isn't that All right. awesome? <laughs> anyway, thank okay. you so much for coming. Thank I had a blast. You, you guys were right. awesome. Thank you. Yes, thank right. you so much. Look, morning, okay. David. Oh, did you see Kojak went to greet David? Yes, he did. David. Kojak loves people. Kojak went to say good morning, greeted you. Did you say back good morning back to Kojak? <laughs> you did? You All right. We just wanted to be sure. You have, you have to say good morning, you know. <laughs> there you go. You're sweet, Kojak. She's a good dog. You we love you. That's there nice. You go. Thank you for having us. Thank oh, you for coming. Anytime. Come again. This was yes. great. Thank you. We had a blast. Oh, Kojak says bye to him. Oh. He's crying. Where is Kojak? You want to be in it too? Should we get Kojak? Let's Kojak. Where is she? Oh, she's right behind us. Oh. Let's see if we can pick it up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you're there heavy. You go. Hmm. Come on, Kojak. There we go. Huh? There you go. Come on, buddy. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. See you next time. Oh, wait a Thank you for having us.